I'm sorry, does anybody else see that as blue? Because to me, that is clear as day. Nothing other than blue. I'll show you what's green. This is green. Clearly green. Clearly blue. It's $1,500. It's $1,500? Yeah. Who's paying? Huh? Who's paying? Dad, a man. I was expecting that to be a salad and it is literally like pure peppers. It's like... Oh, wow. In every country we go to, we like to have a little nosy at the mall, don't we? Well, we normally end up at the mall. It's a good indication of maybe not like the natural culture and things like that, but it gives you a good indication of the modern culture. What's here, what a life is actually like. So you get a feeling of what shops they have, what they do in their leisure time. They do differ. Definitely. Now Woolworths went bankrupt about four years ago, so I'm not quite sure Marisha's got the memo. The planning, my planning my is plan. outrageous. We haven't got a plan, all right? That's, we're just gonna be come clean and be like, we have no idea what we're doing here. There's no storyline. We're actually just come to explore and have a look around. We're bringing you with us. Apologize in advance. Sorry. We're just gonna show you, look, like, well, I'm not, we're not going to sit down and try and create this amazing storyline and just come with us. We're just going to have a stroll through there here and just have a look and see what the shopping malls are like in Mauritius. This one's a popular one. We're going to go to the boutique, what's it called? Sunset, Sunset Boulevard. Boulevard. Sunset We're going to go to that one next so you can have a, you can get a gist of what you can get at these malls. So we've just popped into this supermarket, it's called Intermark to get and as a drink, I know that seems massive, but it's the only one they had. And it's good. I was going to say winner, but winner's the name of the other supermarket that's not as good. This is much better because it, it doesn't just have one or two brands that are really expensive in winners. It actually has like 10, 15 different brands of anything. And they've got lots of international foods here as well, actually. Um, and it's, well, it is way bigger to be fair. You might be paying a bit more per item but you will get whatever you want in here. If you're looking for frankfurters, you're gonna have frank there, there, frankfurters. You might be paying a bit more, but you've got more chance of finding what you need here than in the winners. We're actually gonna do a video of that, of the uh, comparison, price comparison from winners and a, a, a supermarket in the UK because it's so expensive, more expensive than the UK. Just having a little browse, seeing what's about. I like to see what's different. Maybe have a look in Woolworths, see if we can get some bigger mix. I wonder if they're selling, um, I wonder if you can rent DVDs here. <laughs> go for it. As we say in England, cheeky Nando's. Is that yeah, we could go to a Nando's and compare. <laughs> we have to do it, don't we? They've got a Nando's here, it's the first place that I've seen a Nando's in another country. So we've got to try it to see what it's like. Nando's is Portuguese, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, let's see uh, what the chicken tastes like. I know I like some chicken anyway. We're chicken lovers as a family, apart from this vegan over here. I'm vegan on weekends, so we should note out that anybody who's not from England, Nando's is massive in England, even though it's Portuguese. It's very, very popular. In urban London, Nando's is like the uh, fine dining chicken restaurant. You can take the boy out of South London, but you can't take the Morleys out of the South London boy. Good joke, good joke. <laughs> A burger, chips and a drink for four pounds in Nando's. That is mental. I mean, Nando's isn't that expensive anyway in England, but it's not that cheap. Oh no, it's Nando's. It's, <laughs> it's joking. So I don't know if you saw our um, video at the sugar factory, but basically I'm in charge of planning for this section of the trip. And um, at the sugar factory, we turn up at the wrong time for the tour, amongst other things. And today I said, right, well, let's go to the mall because, and you can, you know, wear, wear your clothes that aren't that, aren't that cool because don't worry, we're going to be in aircon all day. She lied again. <laughs> it's boiling and half of it is outside. And it's my bad because I definitely didn't check what the mall was like. I'm not doing well with this planning, guys. Help me. It's like great ties with this very big bottle. It looks like we're giving him wine. We're not. 
Is that nice? Yeah, that's a big grape tizer. It's a big grape tizer. It does taste like grape tizer. You look like an elephant. An elephant? Yeah. That's not very nice, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, when you're walking around with a camera, like, the older people are like, what are they doing? Pretty detailed home video they're making. <laughs> but then the younger ones are like, I wonder what the YouTube channel is. And then sometimes they come up and go, what's your YouTube channel? It's really funny. Old people just like, look at us like we're absolutely mental. We might be. Today. Yeah, you're just being very annoying today. These shirts are proper jazzy, aren't they? They are a bit of you. Look at that wooden bow tie, is that right? Is that green or blue? Green. Do you think that's blue? Yeah. No, you never do. Yeah. That's clearly blue. Is that green or blue, Nino? Is that green or blue? Green. Yeah, it's green, isn't it? Yeah. Are you serious? Mummy thinks it's blue. Yeah, I'm colourblind. Hi, did you think it's blue? No, what? I think it's blue. No, it's not. It's green. I'm sorry, does anybody else see that as blue? Because to me, that is clear as day. Nothing other than blue. I'll show you what's green. This is green. Clearly green. Clearly blue. I refuse. Nope. Lawrence thinks that colourblind people can't see colours. I'm not having this. Lawrence. Yeah. What do you think colourblind people are? Sorry? What did you say <laughs> colourblind people are? I think they're lovely people. No. What did you say they are? Inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unlike other Nandos in other countries, here in Mauritius, we operate in this way like as you come. We cannot be the one to serve you the menu. We come to take your orders. If you order for a drink like that needs a refill, we give you everything. You just need to be in your table. Ah, okay. We do everything here. Okay. Yeah. The upgraded Nandos. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Chicken, chicken. Before we move on to Nandos, we just discuss this colour. Colorblindness thing. He said that he thinks if you're colorblind, you can't see color. I don't know what you're talking about. And she forgets that I edit these. <laughs> I normally order hot, I reckon I've got to order mild. So, so far, they've brought us our sauces. They've brought us our drinks. This is like a completely different kind of experience. How's your chicken, Nana? Nice. It's 1500 dollars. It was 1500 dollars? Yeah. Who's paying? Huh? Who's paying? Yeah, um, a man. Better in England or Mauritius? Delicious. Ooh. Lovely. Uh, no, that's it. Tough. I went with mild and I went for something different that we don't have in the UK. So I've got pineapple and chicken skewers because I like to put the pineapple in the pizza at home with a yogurt dip and a mixed salad. Oh my god, I got a mile, but it's way hotter than England. No wonder there's not a medium. Let's try this. Try this No. You're sweating, so there's no way I'm trying it. I was expecting that to be a salad, and it is literally like pure peppers. It's like. Oh, wow. Ooh. The food court has loads of different places to eat. There's like Cantonese, KFC, pizza, Pani Puri, whatever you want. There's a little arcade and a playground. I like it. Whenever we go to a mall, Lai loves 
these are okay. You want to play that one? Oh, we're getting a steak. So you head away. Mommy. Mommy. Ready? Oh, get it. Yeah, and that one. Get it. And that one. Get it. One the Joker? Yeah, Joker. The Joker. Ready? Ready? So what did you think of it here? Like it. Yeah. Yeah? I do, yeah. It's got a nice vibe. Yeah, it's completely different from any mall we've been to before. It's very like sexy. But now we're going to the oldest mall. What do they call it? Oldest mall in Mauritius. The oldest mall in Mauritius we're about to go to. Sunset Boulevard. Okay. That's, what are you that's not French, is it? Sunset Boulevard. That's more French. Go in there. Which card do you want, my eyes? You've got the big red one, you've got the speed car. Oh, I want a big blue car. Oh, big red car. Big red car? Okay, this one. Go on in front of the map. He spent the whole time reversing or pretending to be in a traffic jam and beeping. Should we be worried he wants to be a car thief or? 